Halloween is a much anticipated and spooky delight for kids this time of year, but it's also easy for children to inquire injuries. Patrick Mollaroni, a medical director, of course, a pediatric emergency medicine physician at John Hopkins All Children's Hospital, joins us with advice on how to help your kids this fun time of year so that we really enjoy everything the season has to offer. So welcome back, Doc. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. I, you know, I, I'm sitting here reading all that, you know, trying to kind of put into words how exciting and special this time of year is and you want to enjoy it. But there are things we need to keep in mind because I think from your profession and your side of things, you see sometimes the negative things that can come out of Halloween. Absolutely. And we, and we do see a lot. And I think that the, the most important thing to talk about initially is obviously trick or treating. And, and, you know, many of the people watching, they might not be taking a child out trick or treating, but they partake because they're giving out candy. And I think that if you're going to be doing that this year, one of the most important things you need to do is look at the path that those children are going to take to your door. Oh, yeah. And if you have a sidewalk that's not looking so hot or you have something, you know, you have <laughs> stuff that might obscure them because you know we got little go ghosts and goblins they're coming in they've got masks on they're not yes. seeing as well as they should so make sure that path is somewhat lighted make sure it's a safe a safe area and if you do have that sidewalk that just doesn't look quite right or that front walk that doesn't look quite right maybe take a table beyond that so that you meet the child where they're at near the road to make it easier for them oh I love that idea and really of course as we are preparing for adults we want to make that safe kiddos are all walking around you were saying before we got started it's good to remind everybody in the house whether they're participating in the trick-or-treat festivities that there are little ones out and about absolutely and you know it's this is especially important if you're a, if you have a teenager at home or if you're if you have a child around that is a teenager a babysitter somebody you could remind that on Halloween kids are darting across the road and in places they normally wouldn't be and a lot of these teenagers they want to get together and celebrate Halloween but they don't do it with their family they go and visit a friend so we've got a bunch of teenagers driving different places and going through our neighborhoods so if you have a teen or a young person or even for yourself just remember that from like like five o'clock till like nine o'clock on Halloween. That's going to be a time where there's little little ghosts and goblins darting across the road. You need to be super careful. Go super slow. And let's talk about the actual like, you know, process. If you do have little ones that are going to be trick or treating out there, you know, costumes, candy. I mean, it's just so exciting. You know, there are a few things you wanted us to keep in mind as far as that we're actually trekking through the neighborhood. Right. Absolutely. And, and one of the things is try and make those children visible. I mean, let's think about the concept, right? We take our kids out in the neighborhood. Often they run two houses in front of us and <laughs> yes. it's, it's dark out they're going to strangers houses but it's a great thing one of the most important things is make sure they're visible so what we do at my house is our children uh, have always had like a glow stick or a flashlight with them so they're they're creating their own light which is which is allowing people Good. to see them as they're coming especially with with regards to cars and then the second rule I think is a super important rule is there's no eating candy that you trick-or-treated when you're out trick-or-treating meaning you you go and get the candy and then you bring it home and the reason why we bring it home is because parents you should inspect that candy. Okay. You should make sure to look and make sure that none of the packages have been opened or nothing's been messed with. You know, I think that, that we hear stories about candy being messed with much more than it actually happens, but it is a smart thing. Let's say that somebody's giving something out that, that your child might that might not agree with your child or that you don't want your child having. It's best to just have a rule with your child. Hey. You don't eat candy while we're out here. Maybe bring a couple of your own pieces of candy for them if you, if you, if you um, have, to, have to give them something. But have them have their candy inspected when they come home for, from trick-or-treating. And you know where my mind went, too, thinking of, like, they're running around. I mean, I know my daughter, again, is so excited to go house to house to house. If she does have a candy in her mouth, like, my mind goes to the choking hazard. Absolutely. I, I think that, that there's a lot of hazards with it. So, you know, you yeah. look at their costumes, make sure they fit appropriately, make sure they're visible, and then kind of try and slow them down just I a like little that. bit so you're close with them. I like that. Well, again, I'm so glad we were able to talk about this. It's such a fun time of year. We're pumped about it in our house. Are you, you and your kids ready to rock? Oh, my house is decorated and, and I stay home and I scare <laughs> kids on Halloween. So I, I, make, I make it fun for the neighborhood <laughs> kids. You know what? I love the neighborhoods that do that. Great to see you as Thank always. You. And we hope you stay right there because we are just getting started on today's Tampa Bay's Morning Blend. We'll be right back.